What's up, coaches? Coach Career from General Gridiron. Today is the second part, the variations in inside run, inside run versus even structures. Um, starting with the pro formation. The pro, pro style ISO, ISO play. When we get to even structures, there's things that are gonna change from the odd structures. And the first situation here is there's a couple different things. We're gonna start from the left tackle like we always do. There's a couple different situations how we can handle the backside of this play. We can fire on the outside linebacker with the left tackle by taking an inside escape step and cut off the backside guy. Or the other option is lock on to him with the left tackle and handle this guy with the boot fake. But in this first situation, we're just gonna escape to the outside linebacker and cut him loose and hold him with the fake of the quarterback. Left guard and center will double team the one technique into the lap of the left side inside linebacker. The right guard and right tackle will double team the three technique to the lap of the play side inside linebacker. We will, we will isolate the outside play side linebacker because we always, my theory is running at the double teams. We wanna hug the power block in the double team, which is coming from the right tackle. So we're gonna isolate the play side outside linebacker. We're gonna stuff the ball inside the B gap. So you see once again, we gotta block in, we gotta block out, we gotta block through. Tight end, we'll take an inside lead step and turn this defensive end out. So here's our alley. We can handle the corner a variety of ways. We could stalk them, we could push them off the ball and stalk them. Me personally, corners are usually not the better tackles. I'd rather use a push crack scenario where we're gonna cut off this alley player and leave the corner one-on-one -on -one with our running back. If our running back can't beat the corner running on one, he shouldn't be our running back. Point blank and period. The second play is the one back pro inside zone play, which is very similar to the isolation play against the even front. This is where game planning and knowing your offense comes into play because you need to know, you need to understand how you're gonna handle these situations. In this situation, the difference is we are gonna leave this outside linebacker free because we're gonna hold them with the fake of the quarterback. The other problem we have here is how do we handle the play side outside linebacker? There's a couple different ways we could get there. So I'm gonna go over that as well, but let's start with the left tackle. Left tackle is gonna get his head inside and drive this man out to play. We're gonna get a double team between the left guard and center where we're gonna try to distort this vertically. Same thing with the right guard and right tackle. We are gonna try to create vertical distortion. Tight end will drive block this end out of there. Now, we could handle this play side outside linebacker with a motion across and give him a running start to try to kick him out. If he comes off the ball immediately, we could move him to a trip scenario, which would widen him and then he's no longer a threat, or we could push crack on him. I don't like to push crack because there's a chance you could be bringing them into the play, but it is an option if you want to do it. You can push crack on them and try to seal them off here and maybe the ball will uh, bounce outside. But I think the easiest way is either motion the H back across, give him a chance to either kick him out if he comes off the edge hard, or he could motion him across and then meet him where he's at if he's reading the play. So, or the third option is bring him, let's go to a trips formation, move him out wider, bring the H over here. Now he has to widen a little bit. So backside outside linebacker will be held by the fake of the quarterback. Obviously the running back is gonna roll step. His aiming point is the inside leg of the tackle and he's gonna make his read with the first down defender who's getting double teamed. There's some people that will tell you they read that play side inside linebacker, which is a great theory as well. But the way I've learned inside zone is you read the first down defender to the play side, which would be the three technique tackle. But you can, um, one of my mentors reads the play side inside linebacker, which his theory is that's the more dangerous player. So let's read him. Last, my favorite, our version of the belly play versus even, which here is very similar to both these plays, except we're gonna cut this guy loose, the outside linebacker, because we got, this is a flow play. Everything's flowing this way. So let's start with the left tackle. Left tackle will take an inside lead gap step, turn out the defensive end. Center and guard will double team the one technique 
vertically to the backside linebacker. Right guard, right tackle will get vertical distortion on the front side linebacker. Well, in this case, let me correct that. In this case, because we're running weak, this is the backside, this is the front side. So we're getting a vertical double team on the one technique to the play side linebacker. And we're trying to drive this thing into the lap of this guy. So here's our inside lane. Right guard, right tackle will we'll drive this double team vertically to the backside inside linebacker and cut him off from coming to the play side. Tight end will get his head inside and turn this man out. We will cut him loose, like I said, because we're flowing this way. There's no way he could affect this play. Motion by the right wing is through the feet of the fullback because he's going to carry out his option fake with the quarterback. Our isolation block is coming from the right, the left wing who is gonna insert, he's gonna take a lateral step inside and insert in the B gap and isolate this backside outside linebacker. Now, in this situation, we're gonna push crack because this corner becomes the pitch man. He has to be responsible for the pitch. So if we see the corner getting real nosy on the run game, we have an easy sequential play that we could get to the next play to take advantage of what the defense is doing. That's the beauty of the hybrid wing. We're gonna take advantage of the reactions that the defense gives us. We are not gonna force anything on anybody, but that's a topic for a later day. Um, so here's the variations of inside run versus even. Coach Korea, until the next time.